Hi, I'm Captain Mike. Here at Florida Sport Fishing, we take conservation very seriously, as does our industry-leading partner, Mercury Marine. Together, we're doing our part to educate the angling and boating community on a wide variety of topics that are important to healthy ecosystems and sustainable fisheries. Recently, we visited the University of Miami's groundbreaking dolphin hatchery program. What we saw was absolutely fascinating. I'm here at the University of Miami, the aquaculture facility at the Rosenstiel School. I'm with Ron and John, and I'll tell you what, just an absolutely fascinating operation here. As populations globally continue to explode, the demand for seafood is at an absolute all-time high. And dolphin fish may just be the answer to feed these populations well into the future. We're at the University of Miami's Experimental Hatchery where we work on a number of different marine fin fish species, all saltwater, looking at different aspects, different research topics, specifically on commercial aquaculture, you know, producing fish for human consumption. Now you guys have mastered cobia. You're yes. experimenting with some other species as well, yep. including hogfish, potentially flounder and grouper also. Red snapper, yeah. Red snapper. We've worked with Florida pompano in the past. Even Another excellent example, but dolphin fish has so much potential. Yeah, they're the, probably the fastest growing fish in the ocean. Huge market recognition. Great tasting fish on top of that. Right, so right. Uh, we've been looking at them for a number of years now and taking the research we're doing here and seeing if we can apply it in a commercial setting. Gotcha, certainly makes sense. Where does it all start? Well, it actually starts probably where you were yesterday, catching some dolphin offshore. We bring in uh, wild fish for our breeding stock. So we'll go out on a charter boat, go collect these fish hook and line in the wild, bring them right to our facility, put them into one of the large tanks you see right here. From there, we make sure they're well fed and in a stress-free environment and they'll start spawning for us just in a matter of a few days where and each female will release eggs every other day for us under ideal conditions up to a couple hundred thousand eggs in a single spawning event. Per female. Per female. Now at a day old, John, what happens to these baby dolphins from this point? So from this point, they'll be utilizing a number of different research programs looking at both angles for seafood production as well as looking at environmental impact events such as the Deepwater Horizon oil research we mentioned, as well as helping inform fisheries managers and those who deal with the resource to help improve modeling for those organisms. pretty ambitious plan for the morning. Yep. Our goal is to head offshore and tag some dolphin. There she goes. There she is. Nice, healthy, clean release. Gonna run up and fill out the card real quick, grab these GPS coordinates, and then we'll tag a few more. That's fun. Yeah. It really is, you know, it's fun. It's like you're contributing. It is. You, you know, we talked about this a lot, you know, is tagging dolphin gonna help you catch more dolphin today? I don't know, you know, but I do know that you're going to have, absolutely, you're going to have a much better overall picture of the migration routes, the migration patterns, feeding patterns, you know, where we get to learn so much about these fish that ultimately, absolutely, it's going to help us be more successful anglers. We've learned that the fish prefer to spend at least 30% of their time deeper in the water column. Yep. We've learned their migratory patterns, you know, where they travel. We learned their growth rate, how fast they grow. 
There's so much information that's being provided. And with all the commercial fishing pressure, the recreational fishing pressure, the more information we know about dolphin, the better off we are. Yeah, and all from one little tag. All from one little tag. You but know? you gotta put in the effort, you've gotta yeah. do it. But I'll tell you what, it's rewarding. Oh, it is. Super rewarding, it so is. hey, Check out dolphintagging.com. Get yourself your own kit of dolphin tags. They're free. Yep. Okay, do a little bit of research. Come on out here, tag some dolphin, do your part to ensure that in the future, we've got a healthy fishery.